it's Stefan and today is the day of the Mercury Solar Transit and right now if you look up there you can see the Sun and what I want to show you today is how I take pictures of Mercury crossing the Sun and I'll put up on the screen right now a picture of what it would look like directly from the camera but as you can see on this it's not actually a solar filter that screws onto the end of the lens or anything it is literally just a solar filter paper that is taped a walk around it's taped all the way around the camera lens and you can see inside if i come around this way and here is the zoom it's zoomed out all the way now but now it's zoomed in and you zoom it all the way out and it's got enough room in there that it can extend itself all the way and still be able to be behind the solar filter so it's almost as if i have a screw on filter there anyway but i'll try and get the image for you here there you go that there is the sun yeah that there is the sun and you know that's a it's a cracking picture that you're able to take um i'll put it on the screen because it'll be much better to see but it's incredible you know that that solar filter sheet only cost me eight pounds and otherwise to get one that screws onto lenses and it wouldn't actually screw onto that because that's a different kind of lens so you actually have to get a different kind of camera and I honestly think that it's a waste of money to go and get one that's perfect for your camera when you can just get a sheet that can be used for anything because in my previous video I had this on a telescope and then earlier I had it on binoculars and now I have it on a camera and it's all the same sheet and it all does the same job of protecting your eyes when you look at that big bad boy so yeah if you want to take pictures of the sun or even just observe it with a telescope be sure to get a solar filter sheet because they're far better than telescope lenses for solar photography that's just my honest opinion and hopefully I save you some time, energy, effort and money by doing that. Okay, this has been Stephen Lee Goodwin and this has just been your daily life knowledge I suppose. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll just do it anyway and put the rocket down below. Have a wonderful day and bye bye. And the sun. Mercury only takes a jolly between the earth and the sun 13 times every century. So it's quite rare in astronomy, but not extremely rare. However, certainly worth seeing. Now, this is quite different from an eclipse because there's a whole bunch of time to see the wee black dot of Mercury pass by the sun as it starts its transit.